appreciate that, man. This is what I wanted to ask you, man. Do you ever, when you see some of these guys touring, do you ever feel left out? Do you ever be like, I, like you see, like you know what I'm talking about when you see the. Do so I know the reason why? Oh, go for it. And I and I again, I'm not gonna mention names. Okay. But we just had this conversation recently. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, I ain't too. Far I was one of those dudes in this business. It was if I have to put it in terms of R and B, I was forced to go solo. Oh. I don't know if you ever heard the story about back in the day, when and I'm making this very clear so the young cats could get this and everybody watch it. I don't know if you ever heard the story about how Anita Baker had to fire Luther Vandross out of love. No. Uh -uh. So fire him out of love. This dude went on to be one of the greatest of all time. You're too damn amazing to be a background singer, bro. When when they're coming to see her, but they're like, love you, but who's the nigga in the, the back? Yeah. This nigga's incredible. It started to be there was so much focus on him that she's like, I love you. You're an amazing guy, and thank you for what you've done. I can't have you back there behind me anymore. <laughs> so I say that to say, there's a lot of big names out there. I only bring it up because I really, truly get the question. Yeah. And I'm even going to give you the example without saying the names, because then people want to instantly call it hate. No, I'm just telling you the truth. Yeah. Man, why you don't ever be on the tour with? Yeah. Man, I've talked to that nigga always. Good. Man, he got four specials. Why? Why can I never open up? There's a reason why. Certain comics have certain people opening up for them. Yeah. The reason why those three guys are opening up, because nigga, they 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 they're never gonna get beyond here. Mm, they're just lukewarm. They're right. just okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. Those guys got rich because of that dude. Right. They now have homes and cars and everything. <laughs> right. But I understand why that dude would never have me open up for him. Right. He, 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 you, you can't have a nigga go up and get stand ovation before you. you. Just can't have that. Not on my show. Right. When they came here today, so there's a lot of people out there, and I'm not saying this with hate with any of those dudes. No, I, mean, I, hear you I was forced that I got so strong, I had to do it on my own. It mm. may take me a little longer, yeah, but I had to do it on my own and do my own. So that's the reason for all the people constantly like, and we went and saw such such this weekend, man. I wish you could have been on the show. And I had to tell people, unfortunately, I'll never be on the same show with that guy. <laughs> and I'm just being honest. I love that dude, and I know why I'm not opening up for him, but that's okay. Man, and I ask that because you get my point. No, oh, I get your point. Okay. I, I get your point. You There's know, the reason I, why certain certain people go out with certain people because I've been on shows. That and niggas just mediocre. I've been on shows and uh, people have constantly. I went from doing X amount of time and they keep they kept cutting you down, cutting me down on time. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, well, I, I thought I was doing 20 minutes, and now all of a Absolutely. sudden I'm doing five minutes, six minutes. What, Justin? Yeah. Again, yeah, without using names. I've had stars that I've opened up for in my 30 year anniversary and their managers and their people have said, Alex, just, just fall back a little. Yeah. Just, just fall back. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? I mean, I, I did my time. I did everything. If you want to continue working it, just fall back. I would hear that so much over the years that it really, it, it kind of put a fire in me to even get stronger. Yeah. Because it let me know I was doing the right thing. And um, and I thank those dudes for giving me opportunities right. to be a young comic and touring all over the country and stuff. But when I would hear fall back, like, you remember why you're here, bro? If anybody they came to see him. If and it, I'm, yeah, you know, if anybody don't really realize what he's saying, it's also yeah, like... You, you, you translate. They, they'll tell you that you can't be too funny. Thank you. So there's a lot of headliners that they'll sometimes have an opener or a feature that they might, they funny, but they just funny enough to get the job done. And but that's the ones that they stay with. <laughs> Back to my example, right? The, 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 the ones features, that are just okay. Right. They work forever. Yeah. 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 Those yeah, features that work part. For, Yeah. Those features and work And that forever. guy will be the feature in the middle forever. They saw the potential in me. But Anita Baker, she was just straightforward with Luther. Right. These guys went for it. All I knew is, I wasn't getting the dates anymore. Mm. I just know. Okay, so then it's then it got to be the point they were like, "Well, don't do this, this, and that joke." And in my little young coming up mind, those are some of my best jokes. Got to do them. Do your thing, just not on this show. So now you're you're. It's almost like I'm knocking niggas out, but you're asking me not to use my right hand anymore. Yeah. Like I just need you to jab on these niggas. I don't need you to kill them. Why do we not need to kill? Them? And, it, and it made sense as I got older. It. It used to upset me. Right. The reason why they only wanted the jab because 
They paid to see this nigga not come out. Right. Not you. My homeboy was just telling me how he just went to a comedy show recently. He was like, all the openers was funnier, actually, than the headliner. And I was like, well, you got to understand, too, that headliner had to do more time also. So, you know, sometimes features, they have a strong 10, 15 minutes of colossal material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I get it still goes to what you're saying. It's the opposite, but still going with what you're saying is when you're a young comic, you only have so many jokes. And you're hungry. And you're hungry. And you're trying to prove it every time yeah. you touch the mic. And, and never did I disrespect any of them. That's right. one thing I knew coming into the game. Right. I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds me. Like you, Eddie Murphy. I'm doing this joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> see what I mean? But there's dudes that, did without that. saying names, yeah. that did that. <laughs> right. And that's why they never really. Right. Could, I, I was not a dude to burn bridges. But yeah. fuck up relationships, and that's why I'm still here 30 years later. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But I know a lot of dudes without naming names. You just fucking bit the fingers off the hands. <laughs> that, and you'll never work with that guy. And that dude does tons of movies. And that guy, I say, I'm one of those dudes that stayed working because people like me. I never claimed to be the funniest guy. Right. But people like me. And that's and, it, and at the end of the day, the same way they told me it's not just about your jokes, it's about your personality relationships is everything in this game so again no shade against any of those dudes that wouldn't have me work with them anymore because i get it right i get it right i get it